Hey guys, it's so great to have you back. Today we're gonna to take out an input shaft from an Eaton Fuller standard heavy duty transmission. It's gonna be loads of fun, you're gonna learn something, so let's get to it. Get yourself a 15 millimeter. You take off the bearing cover. So we're gonna do that now. You just grab it right there, pop it off. See, it just comes off like butter, like that. All right. Now we got the first snap ring off. We're gonna come over here. We're gonna give the shaft a good tug. Expose this snap ring right here. I've got my snap ring float higher right here, and that just comes right off like butter. These things have steps on them. It goes into the snap ring groove right here, and then on top of the, the polar tool. We want to get that on there. Give it again. I guess so. There, that's pretty good on there. And we're going to take a ring, go over the tool, onto the other things on the steps, I like that. And you're going to snug this down. Grab your wrench. Use a breaker bar. Doesn't really matter. Make sure it's going the right way. All right? And now what that's going to do is apply pressure to the input shaft right here. And it's just going to start pulling out the bearing. You're going to just...
Rod Productions. Um, if you want to install that back in there, just you know, hit rewind on the button. It should be somewhere, somewhere down there. Just click on it. Good. Ah, just messing with you. Come on. This is the fun part. The fun is part of the whole thing. You want to insert your shaft back in there in the gear. This, this part really is a delight. I mean, it doesn't get much better than this, folks. It really, really, really doesn't. Remember, trusty big deal snap-on tool. Get it in there. I might have to speed this up unless you guys really want to watch me struggle. Get the groove back here behind these teeth probably about a sixteenth of an inch back there. When you do this, you want to make sure that that snap ring is completely in place. It's going to hold your shaft perpendicular to the engine. You don't want it being all messed up and jankety because it's going to break stuff and that's just bad. Bad. So we got that one in. This, right here, I put the bearing or the snap ring back on the bearing before I put the bearing back on the shaft because it's simpler. That's the only reason why. You want to make sure you do not put this bellend backwards. God does that, it's a, little, it's a pain in the butt to get it off. It just gets stuck on there with the snap ring. So make sure you put it in there correctly when you do that. Alright, come on. And this is actually where the fun begins. Alright, this is your bearing danger tool. Also made my GW tool. This is what we do with this. Put this on there, like that. I'm gonna have to get in front of you. Right? You just. Put some onion in it, you know? Now you're gonna take a snap ring, make sure you got that groove. See the groove? Here's the three things. It's spiraled, it spins the fluid back in there. Make sure you can fit it on before you try. That looks like that'll go. So we'll give it the old college try here real quick. There you go. That snap ring is a little bent, but it is a trainer. People mess these things up. You definitely would not want to put that back on in real life. Man, obviously. So, do that. Put our uh, plate cover back, or bearing cover back on here. Like so. When you do this, there's this little channel right here. That's for all the excess splash from the fluid that comes over. So it goes into this oil port that goes back into the tra transmission like I was saying before. You want to make sure that lines up correctly with that. In order. Otherwise, you'll definitely have a leak. Definitely have a leak. So, then really that's about it, folks. Put the bell housing back on. Good thing. Get our housing back on. You're good to go, get back on the road, deliver them goods and such. As always, remember, safety's never an accident. Folks, take care and have a good day.